A Log's Life by Wendy Pfeiffer, illustrated by Robin Brickman. Dear God. Deep in a forest, a great oak tree stands. A family of squirrels lives in a hole in its trunk. A porcupine chews on its branches. A colony of carpenter ants nests under the outer bark. A woodpecker pecks at the rough bark, searching for insects. He spears one, devours it, and hunts for more. Wood boring beetles burrow under the dark, chewing wood oh, under the bark, chewing wood and leaving tunnels. Water and air seep into the tunnels. Toadstools and other fungi such as mildew, molds and mushrooms sprout in these damp places. Slugs and snails crawl up the tree trunk into the tunnels and eat the fungi. One stormy day, a strong wind whips through the forest. The old oak bends with every gust. Rain pelts its branches. Wind tosses its leaves through the air. Lightning flashes and sizzles down the trunk. A thunderous crack startles the porcupine sleeping nearby. A tall oak begins to topple. Squirrels feel the trembling and scramble out of their hole. One strong gust of blustery wind tears the great oak's roots from the ground. The tree crashes down, shaking the forest floor. Branches break, limbs splinter, leaves scatter. Now it's a giant log. <laughs> Soon the storm stops and the sun comes out. An umbrella of leaves and tangled branches block the sunshine from the forest floor. The porcupine comes out of its den. Squirrels scamper to see the old hole that was once their home. Under the log, ants rush about, carrying white bundles of babies. A spider crawls through the cracks and crevices, searching for a dry spot to place her egg sac. Millipedes settle between the log and the wet ground. For now, they are safe from the spider. Termites soon discover the fallen log and move in. They not only eat the rotting wood, they lay their eggs there too. For three or four years, through hot, cold, wet, and dry seasons, ants, beetles, fungi, slugs, snails, spiders, millipedes, and termites live in the log. One winter, the porcupine's hollow log collapses. He moves into the oak log, too. In the spring, click beetles snap and click their bodies and, fly and, and flip high in the air before settling in the log. Salamanders, frightened by the noise and sudden movements, dart under the log for safety and stay. Where pill bugs and slugs crawl inside of the cool, moist log to keep from drying out. Pill bugs eat dead leaves. Salamanders eat the pill bugs. Slugs slip out, slip out at night and eat almost anything. The old log provides both food and shelter for the millipedes. They eat decaying plants and trees, but spiders eat the millipedes. Several more years of hot, cold, wet, and dry seasons pass. Time, weather, and the chewing, pecking, boring, and tunneling of many animals and insects make the inside of the log spongy. The outer bark becomes soft and damp, and gradually it falls to the ground. Wood-boring insects have no wood to bore. They find another, another log. The woodpecker hunts for other trees to peck. Spiders spin their webs in drier spots, and the porcupine moves to a more solid log. Slowly, a lush green blanket of moss carpets the rotting log. Its thick roots break down the wood. Over the next few years, the log crumbles. What is left looks like dirt. It feels like dirt. It smells like dirt. It is dirt. Earthworms move in. They turn the soil over just as a shovel does. They burrow down and break up the soil just as a rake does. In about 10 years, the rotting log has become a mound of rich black earth.
One autumn day, an acorn falls from a nearby oak tree. A squirrel buries it in the rich soil. A seedling oak sprouts and grows and grows until... One day, deep in the forest, another great oak tree stands. Squirrels move in. So do carpenter ants, beetles, and woodpeckers. The ants build nests, the beetles burrow, the woodpeckers peck. For years, life goes on in the oak tree. Then one night, the wind whistles th through the trees. The old oak bends and shakes. It crashes to the forest floor, and it becomes another giant log.